something you make my heart sing I don't even know where that song came from. I think it came from an animated series based on the Swamp Thing movie by Wes Craven. But yet, I've always had it like in my brain. Now, uh, this is a show that came out on the DC Universe. Uh, I do not have the DC Universe streaming app. Frankly, uh, their shows are not very good. To me, I, I wasn't very interested in Titans. I saw like the first episode and immediately quit. I saw that trailer and I immediately wanted to quit. Um, I haven't seen Doom Patrol. I've heard great things. Uh, Young Justice. I still need to check out Young Justice. Um, but, you know, I'm not a huge fan of any of that stuff. Um, so I, I've kind of, I'm going to start collecting them on Blu-ray and I want to start reviewing them. Because I like DC content. I want to go through them. I'm going to do this with the CW show. So if you see like more DC related reviews. That's why. Um, let's talk about Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is not a DC character. I know a crap ton about. This is the complete series by the way. Um, let me show you this set here. It's a nice set. Um, but yeah. So you got episode... 1 through 10 on this episode guide. Uh, this is for disc 1. has ten, uh, it was the first 5 episodes. Plot descriptions and air dates and all that. Which is nice. Um, and then disc 2. Now this goes right here on this side. And then you got the 2 disc. Um, and it's a decent little slip cover. And it goes in. Now if you notice. I said 10 episodes. That's because all the DC Universe shows had 13 but the Warner executives were not happy with how the show was going and they trimmed it down to 10 episodes and then they canceled the series so that's why this show says the complete series it's a one season show that was produced by James Wan that right that James Wan and yeah it's now, I don't know how accurate this is to the source material. I, I want to read the Alan Moore stuff. I've heard that's fantastic. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I did not like this show. It, now, I, now, this show was meant to be a horror-themed show. But the Warner executives didn't like that. Didn't like the direction it was going in. At, they So they trimmed it to kind of be more of a thriller show so a lot of the show is just kind of boring characters doing boring things it should have been you know it was trying to be creepy but it wasn't creepy and there's a lot of subplots that just kind of happen and you just don't really get invested in anything because it just didn't know because it was trying to be this horror show then it didn't get to be that so it's this mildly intriguing thriller but it's not very well paced. Um, the episodes are a little too long. And yeah, I didn't enjoy it because of the pacing and a lot of and a lot of the subplots. Like there's an A and a B plot, which is normal for most TV shows. But these TV sh these plots are given equal length, but you're not really sure which one you're supposed to be super invested in. And involved in I will say though the effects in the show are really good uh, they're incredible really well done especially for like a DC show right because most of the standard is like CW stuff um, but there's that and then there's also the performances the acting in here is really incredible uh, specifically the actor who plays Swamp Thing in the show does an amazing job I think he is like Gala Godot as Wonder Woman uh, or um, Christopher Reeve as Superman or Christian Bale as Batman where they're just kind of or not, not necessarily Christian Bale as Batman Heath Ledger as the Joker where those actors played their character so well that they have defined their ver they have defined the character when you think of Superman you don't think of Henry Cavill we think of Christopher Reeve unless you've only experienced the newer stuff but you know 
when you think of Wonder Woman, you think Gallagher Joe, no, which most of that is due to the fact that there is no other film version of Wonder Woman. But there's there have been like TV shows and animated movies about Wonder Woman, so you know. But Heath Ledger is the Joker. There's been so many versions of the Joker movie. We don't think about Jack Nicholson anymore. We think about Heath Ledger as the Joker. And that's how good this actor is. A Swamp Thing. Um, incredibly great. I'm forgetting the actor's name. Uh, but yeah, it, it just kind of was a mess of ideas that didn't really come together. I could see why one of our executives didn't want to keep this show going. It's... It wasn't a great show. It was kind of a mess of things that just didn't come to fruition and could have been a lot better. But as it stands, it's okay. I think there's an I think there's a group of people who really like this show, which is cool. Um, but it just didn't it didn't grab me. Maybe if I read more of the source material material I would have gotten more invested in the story and been like yeah I do I do really like this show and admire how accurate it is to the source material but a show like this should stand alone without having me to read the source material so I think it's a I think it's a mixed bag so I'm gonna give it a four out of ten